Hi everyone, this is Thelma with SewItYourself.com. I want to review some of the items I use to protect my finger. Over the years that I've been sewing, I've collected quite a few things. You know, these are some of my oldest thimbles that I've used. Uh, primarily, like these metal ones, they were really in abundance. Uh, when I first started using, uh, doing hand sewing. And when I tailored, um, when I tailored anything, you you know, you actually had a lot of, you had a lot of, of hand work, uh, which required, you know, little sharp needles. These are pretty thin, pretty sharp. So they can actually go through your finger. I've, or sometimes what I've done is I've substituted some of those for, you know, something that's a little bit thicker. This one is a little thicker and won't hurt my finger as much if I have to try and push it through some fabric. But I actually ended up using something that's really fine. So you're just picking a little bit of the fabric and it doesn't show on the outside when you hear me. Anyway, over the years, as I've said, I've created... I've collected a lot of things to protect my finger. I started out with these little metal ones, which, and usually since I'm right-handed, I make sure I try and have it on this finger because this is the finger that I'm actually pushing, pushing the needle through. See, right here? So I can push it through. But what I found was that my hands sweat a lot. So I was always in the market to try and find something else. So I've gone from the metal ones that are right here that actually sweat. Some of them are probably rusted because my hands sweat, my fingers sweat when I was doing a lot of hand work. I've always kind of been on this quest for finding things to protect my finger. And if you if you read one of my articles or the letter that I received from one of my um, clients, Jennifer, where when she actually started to sew, she wanted to make some repairs to some items she already had. And that was something really small, like putting buttons on her jackets that uh, she hadn't worn in a while. And when I told her about a thimble, she was just overjoyed because, you know, she had this fear of the of a needle going through her finger. And as I said, this one is pretty sharp. It can actually go through even the end of it. That's why you would put the thread and it's still, it's pretty sharp. It can actually go through your finger. So you always want to avoid that. So let me just show you some of these items that you may see as you're, you're um, shopping. You always want to try and find something to protect your finger um, and not be surprised that when you start to do handwork, you know, like I said, it's not that much handwork required on items now, but just in case you need to put a, a button on or and you're not you you don't have all of the uh accessories for putting a button on which you're use, utilizing your sewing machine and the and the buttonhole foot a button foot um then you're gonna actually end up doing it by hand or if you want to hem something or if you you know it just could be a variety of things that all it requires uh, you know is getting thread and a needle and and sewing it with your, you know, hand instead of instead of using the sewing machine. So this one I've used quite a bit. I, you know, it's one that I thought it was pretty ingenious at the time because it had the elastic right here. See? And then once I put my finger in the leather piece, it was pretty flexible. See, I could bend, make it flexible. And you see, but the whole issue, it, I mean, it gets dirty pretty. It got dirty pretty quick, you know, and I'm, I use this a lot, but I saved it just in case I need to, uh, I need to use it again, which I'm not sure if that would be the case, but you never know. So this is one that I thought was pretty cute, right? Um, kind of on the same lines is another piece of leather, but this one was too short for my finger. I have long fingers and this one just wasn't comfortable when I did hand work. It would slip off. Even though I thought it was cute, you know, I was like, it's not functional. So that one is still sitting in my sewing basket. Uh, 
This particular one, which is another leather piece, worked out pretty good. I even wore it to the point of I, my tearing it. See, I, I tore that, to, you know, while I was sewing or it got caught on something. I don't know. Anyway, I thought I'd find another one which was pretty close to the same, you know, did the same thing. It wasn't as open as this. I think I like this because it was open on the tip and my hands didn't sweat as, my fingers were not too sweaty. This one, you know, I, I'm sure I've saved this because it was a better fit than this one. It had a little bit, it was a little bit more sturdier, you know, had gave me more support than this one. So I pushed that one aside. So. I've kind of gone on the um, same lines. I found these two. Look, these are rubber. Like, those are kind of comfortable. I tried it. But it doesn't give me a grip. The only grip part is like right here. Right there at the, the, the front of it. You're supposed to be able to kind of use the side. But this was too slick. The needles always kind of slipped. And I, it took me longer to do what I needed to do. Uh, let's see. This one. Along the same lines, you know, I could find, once I found something that, that could fit my finger, I also needed it to kind of push, because I work from the side, try and push the needle on the side, using the side of my finger. I rarely kind of, I rarely do this, the front, or rarely this, unless it's really something thick. Most of the time, when I'm trying to do handwork, I'm pushing it from the side. And see how this just slips. So that doesn't work. It's too slick. So put that one aside. So now what I've ventured in. I even found. This one. I went over on the quilting side of the store. And I found. This one it says is clover. Yeah I'm not sure if I got this when I was in Joann's. Or they're my local Bernina shop. They have notions. You know, especially for quilting. And I thought that was cute. See, it's gold, yellow. I like bright colors. And when I use it, I haven't used it that much. See, it's still, again, kind of uncomfortable because it's expected me to be able to push the thimble from here. It has good grip and everything. Except if I use the side, see, it's going to go through that... Um, stitching and kind of creep through the seam you know i just that wasn't effective for me but i say that because i like i said I, I like it i maybe if they perfect it and somehow put it on the side that would work put the support the little metal support with the grips where a needle can easily fit into the grooves and push it push it right out see this is the whole issue see it stays it's not slick like this the rubber piece see the rubber one it kind of just goes all around it it doesn't stay in the spot i'd have to actually kind of punch a hole and then you know if i punch the hole what's the point in having a thimble i end up back in the same position and what else did i find i haven't used these yet i was over in the quilting department as well with these and these are clover leather thimbles but see it's open it's open it has something on the side uh like i said i haven't tried them yet it seems like it may work better because it does have something on the side. I can put my finger in here. And then a while back, I was in, I think I got these out of Joann's. Um, they say it's by 3M. I think I threw away the original packing, packaging. But basically, it's a leather, <clears throat> kind of a felt piece. <clears throat> leather, you can pull, pull it off. And then I can stick it on my finger kind of wherever I need it. Isn't that cute? Isn't that a neat idea? So I can reposition this as I'm sewing and say, okay, if it goes to, you know, goes down further, if my needle ends up down here, I can just take it off, reposition it here so I'm not getting stuck. Or most times I think I pad it where it's kind of in the center. I mean, that's pretty much where I... I'm kind of pushing the thimble, pushing the, the needle through the fabric. It's kind of right about there. And these work out real good because I don't have to cover my finger, my entire finger. It's open, doesn't call, cause uh, sweating for me. 
and it works out pretty good. So I'm going to take that off. And then it, it's reusable. So I just take it off and I stick it back on here. And use it, stick it back on and use it the next time. Then I was somewhere, I was in a, uh, one of the shops. I think I had a class or something. And I, as always, I look around to see what what is out, what's new that I can possibly use. And I found these little sticky thimbles. They're called polka dots. Sticky Thimbles. And this is by jalilystudio.com. So maybe you can find it there or your local shop. Uh, I like these because they're red. <laughs> See, they're bright. And I can take that off just like the other one and stick it on my finger kind of wherever I think I may wherever that needle is going to come. See? And if I need to reposition it, I can do the same thing. And see, same concept of those other ones. The only issue is, <laughs> and maybe why I haven't used it, to see how the, the needle doesn't really stay in a place. It's kind of slick. So I probably won't buy any more. But I think those are cute because they're red. But they're not functional for me. The only ones that seem to work out are these. So I've gone through all of these thimbles of, of finger protectors, put that back, finger protectors to come down to something just like this. But it, it's effective. It works. So just in case you're out trying to decide, you can go through all of these like I have over the years, or you can probably pick up something like this to get started. And then you can kind of, you know, um, collect them later, maybe just depending. You know, sometimes when I don't have anything to buy or there's nothing that I can find that I like in fabric, fabric-wise, I'll go over to the Notions department and just see what's new. So, like I said, right now, the ones that are most effective for me are these. And, of course, it can all depend upon the fabric that I use as well. And just in case... <clears throat> Like, the needles come in these little packages right here. Sometimes I have them over here with my pin cushion. See? Oh, something just fell. And I can't find it. So, I actually found this little thing that holds the, holds the needles. See, look. Whatever this is. Oh, this goes on something. I'll move it out the way. Um, see how it holds the needles? I have that. And that works where I just place it on here and I don't have to look around for it. So I've even purchased another one because I'd like to leave one at home and then one whenever I go somewhere or travel with my if I go to a, a, a sewing class or a retreat. And it's actually called the Needle Nest. Okay? And it's by Dritz. If you can see that. And it just holds the needles in place. So if you need somewhere other than how I have mine here, and I put them in my little sewing um, uh, fishing, looks like a little fish ta fishing tackle, I'll put them in there for travel, or like I said, I purchased this to get, to start putting my needles in. So, all of these, just to protect my finger. But believe me, it's pretty painful if some people have got needles in their fingers, and I, I just really hate it because then I end up with a band-aid around it. And it doesn't look all that attractive. And yada, yada, yada. You know. But again, hopefully that helps you with your, um, with your sewing tools and notions. And you're not collecting or buying things unnecessarily. Because, you know, sometimes when you're starting out, you just don't really know what works. So take a look at all of this. <laughs> and I'm only down to using this right now.